Transit riders expect the same things all customers expect, that we will do whatever it takes to satisfy their needs. That sounds easy, but excellent customer service seems so rare. Why is that? Some of the challenges are rooted in human behavior and others are organizational in nature. You may be tired, stressed or depressed. Schedules can be challenging. Customers can be demanding. All of these things are part of life, but they don't have to stop us from providing excellent customer service. Some people think the customer needs us more than we need them, but nothing could be further from the truth. Transit providers used to be very operations focused. It was about moving people from point A to point B. A better approach is putting the customer at the center of everything we do, with our mission being to meet their mobility needs. Consider this structure with the customer at the center of everything. In this model, all of the activities and all job duties of staff throughout the organization are understood as supporting the relationship between the customer and the transit operators. I think the best way to, to create a, a culture of customer service is through example. Uh, each one of us as managers, as mentors, as, as instructors uh, should, should emulate uh, what, what good customer service is. It's an organizational thing that requires a lot of teamwork, right from your operator on down through dispatch into me and to the big boss, the CEO. I've learned to place myself in the individual's place as to meeting their needs and getting complete information from them so that I can best assist them. And number one advice is giving pat patrons respect, uh, being on time, and going the extra mile when they ask questions or if they're lost. But that's the, num the number one is respect. Be friendly. I mean, it, just we deal with all different types of passengers. No one person's the same. Just be friendly, smile. You know, hi, how are you? Have a good day when they get off the bus. I mean, just treat them like a human being. When you sit down in the in the seat for customer service, you have to be very patient, and you have to be very understanding to what the customer or the client needs. Even when you do get an irate customer or someone who's upset, it's not about you. They're not upset with you. They're upset with the situation. You had nothing to do with, with causing the situation, but it's your responsibility to solve the situation or correct the situation to the best of your ability. We do whatever it takes to make our customers satisfied, to make sure they're um, taken good care of, um, greet them with a smile, tell them your name, and uh, that's what it takes. Providing excellent customer service is obviously good for your customers, but it improves your quality of life too. Here are six truths about delivering excellent customer service. You make people's lives better by meeting their needs, and that feels good. Meeting people's needs and resolving their problems lowers your stress level, and who doesn't want that? By providing excellent customer service, you are building community support for transit. That translates into increased ridership, more funding, and improved job security. When you do an exceptional job, you feel pride in what you do. How we relate to people is determined by our basic attitudes. Cultivate a genuine appreciation for your customers. The same principle applies for how we treat each other and our coworkers. And finally, for a culture of excellence and customer service to take root, it means everyone in the organization must be committed to it. Every member shares in the responsibility. There you go, have a good afternoon.